Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. I saw this story today, apparently it came out in the Daily Mail a couple of days ago and then as I was researching it I came across a documentary and then it was like a Pandora's box. So many things I hadn't known about before. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> If you're from the previous era, you'd know Princess Diana really well. If you're not, you probably know Prince Charles and Harry and William, probably more. But let me mold these two together, yeah? So Princess Diana was the mother of Prince William and Harry of the UK. She was wife of the next heir to the throne, Prince Charles. And in 1997, she died in a suspicious, highly convenient accident in France. Diana was said to be deeply in love with a Muslim Pakistani heart surgeon, Hasnat Khan. Those closest to her say Diana's affair with the doctor was the most passionate love of her life. Hasnat Khan was the love of her life. So this clip and the subsequent clips that you're going to see are from a documentary that ABC did on the last 100 days of Diana. So this fact of her undying love for Hasnat is not contested. He was healing people. He wasn't remotely interested in her fame. He obviously wasn't all that interested in his own appearance. He sort of had a paunch. He ate Kentucky Fried Chicken. I mean, it's definitely this sort of aggressive kind of normalcy. When I saw this, I actually had to pause it and I was like, when you hear this sort of stuff in Disney cartoons, the beauty and the beast, not that I'm calling him the beast, but I mean, you can take a parallel from it in the sense that, you know, you've got a princess on the one side and then on the other side, you've got a guy with no six pack, mate. He's got a one pack. He looks like a typical Pakistani with the moustache and everything. But she went for him. She found him attractive. And this whole KFC thing shows he wasn't from a posh lifestyle. She would go to his flat, his dirty flat, and do his ironing. She didn't do her own ironing, but she did Hasnet's ironing. So let me get this straight. A princess who can have anyone she wants, anything that she wants, goes to a dirty apartment and then does the ironing for him. If that doesn't show true love and the emotional depth of this woman, I don't know what does to be honest. How she's able to look past all this that even you guys are like, eh? is, he, is he making this up? <laughs> no. He was a personal chef. I remember the princess's weekend menu changed slightly. She was asking for you know, curries and, and things like that. Well, who can blame him? I mean, if once you've had curry, you know what I'm saying? Like that's the ultimate, like Gordon Ramsay said. I mean, how, how much bangers and mash are you going to have every day, mate? Yeah, you need the spices, you need the chili. She'd heard about Hasnat Khan. Her mother was very anti the princess dating a Muslim man. Now this is just a glimpse because in another clip, they were actually saying the sort of stuff that the mum was saying, calling her names that I can't even repeat, mate. She's been writing the grandmother for months at this point. That's another sort of effort that she has to kind of woo the family. It was a family compound. She sat there drinking tea with his aunties and grannies and uncles and everything. Yo, that's commitment right there. The fact that she was even considering moving to Pakistan. Now what we're interested in is what the Daily Mail said and they're reporting from Anwar Hussain who's 83 and the royal family's longest serving photographer and he goes they were on a flight and then she came along and she whispered can I have a chat and then he goes she knew that I was married to an English girl Caroline she wanted to know about Islam she was asking about being married when one person is Muslim and another is Protestant. Christian and he goes on to say she was interested because of what she was going through Dr. Hasnad Khan she didn't mention him but she assumed I knew it I think she was wondering how the family would react to him and things like that. Now Hasnad Khan according to his father he was thinking because Diana the paparazzi were obsessed with her. If her photograph was on the front page of a magazine the sales went up 25 percent. So for Dr. Khan he didn't like all that. He was a private person and he said it's like they're both from different worlds so probably wouldn't work. 
But they say throughout Diana's life till the end, she just couldn't let go of him. So in several documentaries, he's actually stated as a sincere man. And this can actually be verified because even when she was alive, people were selling her secrets to the papers even her own mother. But this guy didn't reveal a thing about what he learnt about her during their private time. And what's awesome here is she clearly trusted the right guy. Yeah, and there was a reason and this, this is the reason why she really liked him. Because even when she's passed away, he hasn't sold her down the river. And it's these sorts of qualities that people should look for when marrying somebody because let's face it, looks fade. And this is something, who would have thought it, that we're learning from a princess. A princess of our era. She only passed away in 1997. And that's the beauty of this religion. It gives character, it gives morality, it gives that special je ne sais quoi. You know, she's not the only British royalty that fell for an Asian Muslim. Queen Victoria is very famous because she fell for Abdul Karim and there's a book and Hollywood even made a movie called uh, Victoria and Abdul. Diana is very much loved and adding emotionally mature to her repertoire only increases our adoration for such a sincere woman because even when she traveled she did a lot of philanthropy yeah she went and she helped with a lot of charities. She used her popularity to bring khair and positivity to people. Now of course I'm not going to ignore the fact that this was a you know haram relationship and this and that, that goes without saying. But that is not the emphasis of this video. The emphasis of this video is the fact that she was looking into Islam. Imagine if it's such a barbaric religion, yeah? why would a royal risk everything? And it's not just Diana, Queen Victoria also. Why would they risk everything? to be associated with this quote unquote cult of barbaric people and religion. That's because it's not. It's absolutely nonsense. And also the fact that the princess could look past the front cover and rather focus on the contents of the book is amazing and I think it's inspirational to us all. So hopefully this encourages us to obviously work on our appearances but it seems like a lot of us pay too much attention to our appearances and not that much on our insides. Work on your appearances but also work on your inside and what better way to work on your inside than pleasing the one and learning about the one and loving the one who has created you and me. Let's leave it there guys until next time. Assalamu alaikum.